Hindu Kumar <laughs> for the third time. <laughs> I am taking a session today. First session was a Professor Behra session that uh, I had to take, and okay, two sessions were you. for me. But um, uh, yeah, I think you will learn from the session and you will enjoy uh, having it. That is why I am uh, trying to make it more engaging, supporting it with a lot of digital content, sample digital content, so that you don't get a very verbose session, but you get other stimulus also in between to uh, sustain your interests. So uh, now uh, let us move on to the next session. Whenever we develop any content, any form of content, uh, we need to have a proper uh, instructional design for it, a proper script wherever required and also storyboard. So this in this session, you will learn how to, uh, what is the process of bringing a particular e-content from script to screen? What is the journey uh, behind? So from where we start and how we come up with the end product. So that is what we will be learning here. So you will be learning about uh, scripting, how to develop a script. I will, be all, I will also be showing you script and storyboard of interactive content so that you develop quality interactive content when you are developing uh, interactive content. For uh, audio video also, if you are developing an audio and a video, what should be the script like for audio and video? And wherever required, uh, what kind of storyboard you need to develop for uh, the uh, specific e-content where storyboarding is also uh, required. So video for that purpose is a broader term. If we uh, have output as video of an animation also, we call it in broader term, we, we call it a video. Animation is the presentation format, but the output is video only, okay? So that is why I will be showing you animations, but uh, a, a video script for an animation. So because the output of the animation is a video file, which is a MP4 file, okay? So when I am um, uh, talking about video, that means all sorts of videos, graphic based videos, uh, animation videos, and uh, the uh, video lecture, if we are having, a con uh, having it in that form, or panel discussion, if we are having a panel discussion as uh, a video output. So uh, again, Dr. Monica is there with me to support me with the presentation. She will share her screen to project the uh, presentation. So let us start with the presentation. And I will try to show you a actual produced program, its script and the storyboard so that you can uh, comprehend the linkages between the three, how an end product, which is a video, is based on a well-crafted script and storyboard. So I will be showing you uh, all three at the end of, uh, towards the end of my presentation. Yeah. <clears throat> So uh, before developing any e-content, be it uh, audio, a video, or uh, mm, interactive content, we need to have these three considerations, uh, learning theories on which a particular content is based. It should be at the back of my, uh, our mind. Not that we have to learn all the learning theories and then we need to initiate the development of a content. So there are learning theories behind each and every uh, piece of work that we uh, do as academicians, then learning objectives and individual differences. We also need to focus upon the learning objectives of a particular piece of e-content that we are going to uh, develop. Uh, uh, and then uh, individual differences. Uh, in the previous session, you learned about the kind of individual differences that we have in class. 
which also carries, uh, which also take into consideration the children with the special needs. And uh, keeping in view this differentiated uh, population of children that we deal with, we have to make a content in such a way that uh, most children gain out of it. So we need to, uh, to take into consideration the individual differences uh, among children also while developing a piece of content. Next, please. So what is the process of um, development? What is the development process? So here you can see steps in script development and production, then devices for holding children's attention, uh, what uh, we need to do for holding children's attention, then elements of a good script. So what are the steps in script development? First of all, we need to know our audience. Who are our audience? Are our audience adult learners or our audience are children? If they are children, uh, to what level they belong, whether they are FLN learners for, uh, learners for foundational literacy and numeracy, whether they are uh, middle uh, class learners, secondary or senior secondary learners. So we need to uh, look at the audience we have to deal with. Then we need to select the theme and topic uh, by con analyzing the content. We need to analyze the content to uh, understand the uh, need. Uh, then a development of brief, then we have to develop program brief because if we uh, create any content, we can go up to any label. So first of all, that is why I have mentioned that we need to know your audience and the brief uh, just uh, keep us on the track to know or to focus on what will be the, uh, the, 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 the dimensions or limitation of uh, having that content. Sometimes we go very deep into a particular concept because there are a lot of concepts which run throughout the grades. It can start from grade six, but it run up till class 12. There are concepts like that. So while writing the script, sometimes we get carried away by going deeper into it. So we need to understand our audience and develop brief to set the limitation of our e-content that we are going to develop. If it is for class, uh, uh, class, class sixth, so the content brief should limit it up to the class uh, sixth only. If it is for class 12th, then the concept, the same concept which we taught in a different manner in class six, need to come differently for class 12 students and content brief help us develop those boundaries, develop those boundaries in which we will be dealing with a particular uh, concept. Then uh, next comes research on the subject. We have to research on the subject while research only we get deeper into it, but we have to set our boundaries by developing content brief first so that we don't get very deeper into it if we are developing the content for class sixth. Then we need to sequence the content. Sequencing need to be done. How the sequencing of content which it is dealing with need to be done. It can be from easy to complex, from uh, near to remote or any which manner depending upon the uh, need of that content. Then uh, select the presentation format. We have to select the presentation format also, whether we are presenting the content through a graphic, infographic, worksheet, assessment sheet, video, audio, interactive, animation, comic strip, panel discussion, video lecture. So these are some forms of content uh, presentation format. So uh, the uh, presentation format need to be as 
per the demand or need of the content or concept with which we are dealing with and also keeping in view the uh, audience we are dealing with. Then devices of holding children's attention. If we are developing content for children, then we, then we need to know the devices for holding their attention. Uh, and there are uh, several uh, devices through which we can hold their attention. Uh, there are, they, they, children are very much interested in song. Very quickly, they memorize songs. Then riddles, music, sound effects, fun, humor, pause, and rest. So it uh, cannot be uh, any content can, if we are uh, suppose uh, delivering a video lecture, several pauses also come in between. It is not that we are continuously speaking and children are not able to comprehend what we are uh, teaching them. So when we uh, articulate our speech, there should be pauses also in between. Then interactivity, if we need an interactive content, interactivity need to be there. Then elements of a good script, it should have an attractive start. Clarity of concept should be there. Then objective-based content should be there. Known to unknown approach we need to adopt. Uh, we need to keep it interactive. Even a video lecture also uh, can be kept interactive by addressing to the audience. The uh, language of the script should be such as if we are actually addressing our uh, audiences. Then uh, language should be simple. Transitions from one concept to another concept should be smooth. Then component of human and uh, humor and fun should be there. Reinforcement with variety and linkages need to be there. We should reinforce the uh, uh, content by the at the end of because uh, uh, one thing we must be very clear about that whatever digital content we are developing, it is not complete in itself to convey to deliver a particular concept. It is not that teacher is not required. Once the content is developed and shown to children, teachers are not required. So it is the teacher who has to integrate a content into her teaching learning plan to make the learning more engaging, more comprehensible. I mentioned it here uh, because in between, a lot of reinforcement also need to be given. When we are showing them a particular, any video for teaching any concept, the video can also end with posing a few questions. So questions, uh, we can end a video by posing some questions also because it is not complete in itself. It should take us to further learning as well, which will be derived with the help of teacher. So that is why a lot of videos that we have on Diksha and our other portal, they end with questions so that children can further be engaged with the concept. Uh, then a smooth close down. The close down of the uh, program should also be very smooth. It should not end abruptly. Next slide, please. So here um, uh, is the concept of developing a storyboard. What is a storyboard? Storyboard is a, a translation of a script for the camera. In the storyboard, we mention where we need a close up, where we need a long shot, where we need a a, a, a bird's eye view of any uh, um, uh, landscape or a scene. So all these things need to be mentioned in the script uh, storyboard. So we can have a template of a storyboard, uh, uh, making it uh, a scene by scene thing, scene one, scene two, what will appear in scene one, what will appear in scene two, what will appear in scene 
see so it is like that so it is not necessary that you have to be a very good uh, you have to sketch uh, sketch a very good uh, graphic or image in a storyboard you can also give indication through words also storyboard can be a verbal representation also you need to explain what you need in a scene if you can draw it a crude drawing will also serve the purpose next slide please <clears throat> so this is the storyboard for audio because in audio we are not uh, writing for the eyes but we are writing for the ears and through ears only imagery of the concept we are dealing with should come into our mind so here the sound effect and music the role of music and sound effect is very very important if we have a story in southern context and we are using a uh, northeastern music into it so that will not set the right tone of that particular audio so the audio or music should be relevant uh, keeping in view the context of a particular piece of uh, audio so that is how we have to develop a audio story board giving hints of sound effects and the kind of music we are going to use next uh -huh. what is the need of a storyboard i have already explained so uh, it is best but uh, to summarize we can uh, see this slide best way to share the vision of the script writer it makes production easier and it saves time also then we can use the sketch it method but uh, we can also explain it in words also for audio we explain it in word or word only go with the rapid template we can create a template for making a storyboard and we can also use collaboration tool uh, if two three people in uh, collaboration are making a storyboard we can also use collaboration tool for creating a storyboard next please Mm, so uh, what we need uh, for uh, creating a mm, uh, piece of content, if we are creating a video, we need to have source of moving and still images from where we are getting the still images, keeping in view the licensing that you learned in the previous session. Then means of importing them into a PC, we need to import them into a PC. Then we need a software to optim optimize each clip and string the clips together. Uh, we need a software also. Uh, like uh, for, uh, I uh, demonstrated a content comic strip on acidity. So what was the software? Presentation software was used to uh, make uh, that particular comic strip. And what were the pieces of uh, the, um, content which were woven together each cartoon was uh, the slide of each cartoon were the images which were put together and they uh, into a string and then saved as video to create that particular piece you will be learning a particular software which is open short video editor and the whole process which is mentioned in this slide will be demonstrated using that software. And you can also try your hands during hands-on uh, learning to learn that software. Then means of exporting the resulting masterpiece, then you also need to export the uh, output into your uh, any device. You can uh, uh, export it on your uh, desktop. You can also export it on your Google Drive, you can also have it in a pen drive. So wherever you want to have them, you can have them and you can also upload them in the content repository, the end outcome of it. Next. Uh, then uh, these are example of some of the camera shots. Uh, mm, uh, so here you can see a wide shot, a long shot and a middle shot, examples of 
that. This is the um, mid shot. Uh, this is the uh, wide shot and this is the long shot. Next. Then uh, they, uh, there are some more examples of short, medium close up, close up, big close up and extreme uh, close up. So this is the medium close up. And uh, this, th this is extreme close up. You can see the cursor here, big close up and extreme extreme close up we have already seen and close up uh, huh, next so here some more camera angles are there top angle over the shoulder angle point of view angle dutch angle and bird's eye view bird's eye view is not uh, given here so you can see uh, the top angle over the uh, uh, this is over the uh, shoulder angle. Uh, this is uh, POV where you can see a car running on the road is POV point of view angle where you feel that you are part of the scene. When you see a car running like that, as you can see in the image here, we feel that we are part of the scene. Uh, we are actually into the car which is running on the uh, road like that. Then uh, Dutch angle is the angle given here, a uh, uh, black and white image which is given here, where uh, we need to capture the expression, extreme expression on the face of a character. We have to tilt the camera or from the uh, from such an angle where the entire scene is also uh, captured and the expression on the face of the character are also captured with minute details. Next slide, please. Next is we skip. So uh, here are the steps. Uh, the uh, we can also say it. Uh, Mm, a sort of instructional design that we have to follow for developing a particular uh, piece of content. Step one, we have to come up with an idea and we need to write a propose, proposal. Step two is research, explore and learn on the idea which has come into our mind for which we have created a proposal. Then step three is uh, writing the script. We need to write the script. Then step four is we need to write a storyboard or plan what all we required and in what manner in, uh, we want to see our video scene by scene, see our uh, content piece scene by scene. Then step five, uh, five is gather uh, or create uh, images or video clippings based on the idea that we uh, have uh, had in our mind. Then step six, it, we have to put it all together. Steps uh, to create uh, it into a piece of uh, the end product, a product. Then step seven is we have to share it for getting feedback and reflection. Once uh, we receive the feedback, based on the feedback, if it is to be brought to the editing table again, we need to modify it further. And after that, we need to uh, disseminate a content through particular repositories. So that is the process of uh, developing a digital content. Let us now see the actual example of a video. First, I will show you the video. Look at the video carefully. It's a stop motion animation and you will be learning uh, the development of stop motion animation also. There is a mobile app using which you can create stop motion animations and the app is stop motion studio. You will be getting a demonstration of the stop motion studio so that you learn how to create uh, stop motion animations. So let us watch the uh, video. First, after that, I will be showing you the script on which that video is based. 
and also a storyboard for the particular animation video. I will be showing you two videos. Kisika mic shad on hai. Please mute it. Some noises are coming. Audio kisa share kya. Can you watch and hear the sound also? कुछ चपटे कुछ भेल कीले कुछ जैसे हो मोटी कीले कुछ कुदाल कुछ भाले जैसे कुछ मीठे चाकू से पत्थर से पत्थर को मार बना रहे थे वो हथियार another video because I don't have PDF of the script of this video and the font is distorted, Hindi font is distorted. So we'll, we'll look at another video. काम में 
मेरा हो जाए पल में काम मेरा हो जाए मेहनत भी मेरी बच जाए हाँ गोल 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 फिर उसने कुछ और किया था लट्ठे को टुकड़ों में काटा हाँ एक धुरी से दो को बांधा एक धुरी से दो को बांधा धीरे धीरे किया सुधा हाँ यू हो गया पहिया तैया यू हो गया पहिया तैया यू हो गया पहिया तैया गोल 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 पहिया Let us now see the storyboard of this particular uh, video. I think you could understand, though these lyrics were in uh, Hindi, but the uh, it was subtitled also. So how wheel was evolved, and uh, this video got uh, an award in the Commonwealth Media Festival also, an international award. So, uh, how many of you can understand Hindi? This script I have in English also. So, I will share this, the English version of the script also. Right now, it is not uh, with me, but in the group, I will share the English version. So, let us now yeah. see the... Uh, Acha, you got it. So, we, we could locate the English version also. So, I will show you the English version of the script. Uh, so just wait for some time. By then we can see the storyboard. By the time we uh, project the English version of the script. Palace script di kadeo. Acha, thik hai. Nee to storyboard bhi dekh sakte hain pehle. ठीक है इसको थोड़ा सा और बड़ा कर दो। So uh, the uh, animation was uh, about invention of wheel. Uh, so you can see the script in two column. So in column one, all the audio part is there, audio and music part we have to indicate, and in the visual column we have to indicate what kind of visuals we require. That is how we write the script. So in the audio part, you can see background music symbolic to symbolic to speed. So the music should be symbolic to speed because wheel cannot speed. Then what were the visuals along with this music? Uh, with the notes of music floating uh, out of a flute comes the title wheel so there were notes of mu music which were floating out of a flute you can you could see in the video and with that the titles come on the screen invention of wheel or wheel yeah, yeah. 
close up of aeroplane uh, close up of the wheel of aeroplane aeroplane flying close up of the tire of a car car running on the road a child running on skates a man riding a bike round sun rising in the sky uh, scroll up rotating earth Uh, then uh, round words rolling in a cyclical manner. Goal, 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 goal uh, were the words in Hindi and they were rolling in a cyclical manner. So that was the piece of uh, the, the sequence of visuals which came along with the music which was symbolic to speed. Then lyrics, then comes the lyrics. Uh, Once a human on a downhill, saw a rolling log ek din manav ne dhalan par dekha ek ludakta latha aur uske sath what visuals we could see prehistoric environment a log rolling on a downhill and a prehistoric man watching it with curiosity that was the visual along with these lyrics then roll 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 various round shapes we could see uh, can you scroll it down? Huh. Then uh, again, uh, lyrics comes, rolled, rolled and tumbled down, rolled, rolled and tumbled down, reached over a wide stretch, stretched meadow. Gol, gol, lurka dhalan par, pohcha niche phale maidan par. And what were the visuals along with these lyrics? Prehistoric environment again, a log comes rolling from a downhill and reaches a field and it rolls, hits a tree and rolls further, rolls back. Its speed slows down after hitting the tree and it stops after some time. So can you relate the script to the video you watched? So like that the script goes, I'm not reading aloud the complete script. I will share the script with you and the video so that you can uh, get to know uh, the linkages between the script and uh, actual product. So like that the script uh, goes indicating the kind of music we want and the kind of visuals uh, which comes with the lyrics, the music, and all, uh, and the uh, entire concept. So all the visuals are indicated in the right-hand side column. So let us now watch the storyboard of the same script. So here you can see the scene-by-scene scene description of the video that you watched. So uh, 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 in the first scene, you, um, uh, you saw a flute and the notes of music floating out of the flute. And there was a music which, wa which was symbolic to speed. And with that, the title of the programs Pahiya comes on the screen. Then in scene two, you watched the uh, close up of a wheel of aeroplane, close up, mid close up of uh, the actual aeroplane, close up of a car, and this is the point of view angle. The uh, a, a car, uh, a steering wheel of the car, then a bike, then uh, charkha. After that, you uh, saw a rolling stone. A, a rolling uh, log from a downhill, a man watching it, then an extreme close-up of the eyes of an early human who watched the rolling log. And in the uh, next scenes to come, we saw all these visuals along with the music and the lyrics. But at the end, we also had a visual which is not mentioned in the storyboard. And that was of a boy who was rolling the wheel of a cycle with the help of a stick. 
So that suggestion came from the uh, discussion when we discussed the script and story board uh, internally in house. So then a suggestion came, we can also add such visuals so that uh, children who play such games in the rural areas can also relate with the, uh, uh, with the video. Although it is uh, whatever is shown in the video is uh, the past and we don't know. It is uh, true to all the early discoveries and invention that we don't know who was the inventor of these early discoveries and inventions. We can only speculate how fire was discovered, how wheel was invented and how agriculture was started. We can only speculate. We don't have a clear cut idea because all these inventions are prehistoric invention when um, human being uh, did not started they didn't didn't learn the art of writing uh, so they were not documenting documenting what they were doing so that is why we only speculate about these early discoveries and inventions but as far as learning which we can derive out of derive out of such videos is uh, immense we can uh, use this uh, video, especially the wheel one, for the uh, primary learners also, for the secondary level learners also, for the middle level learners also. All of them would enjoy this uh, video equally. But how a teacher uh, weave a discussion around the video for primary children, for elementary children, and for secondary senior secondary children will be uh, different. For primary school children, we can only tell the how wheel might have invented, how the idea of wheel might have come into the mind of a child. But when we are discussing the same invention with the uh, older children, we can discuss the concept how discovery of wheel fasten the pace of development of human civilization how it became possible just because of the invention of wheel that the pace of civilization became faster human being early human who earlier was a nomad used to roam around in search of food and shelter now started uh, moving around the world also as the wheel evolved and it also led to the specialization of labor also and so is uh, true to the uh, big, uh, to the invention of uh, agriculture also to the start of agriculture also because uh, with the invention or start of agriculture agriculture was not an invention because uh, when uh, the human didn't started uh, the agri practicing agriculture, the plantation was already there on earth, but they didn't knew the art of cultivating them. But when they started cultivation, they started living a settled life. And because of the settled life they lived, the um, many institutions which we have today were emerged because of that invention only, because of the settled life and the ownership on earth. The uh, fight among different uh, groups of human beings uh, started taking place. And because of that only, uh, slowly and gradually, we developed a lot of institutions like state, uh, 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 a person who uh, can uh, rule the state, rule the people and the institution like law and the institution like marriage and other such institutions were developed because of these three discoveries and inventions. Invention of wheel, uh, beginning of agriculture and invent, uh, the discovery of fire. 
So like that, depending upon our target audience, we can take the learning forward based on any e-content. So some e-contents are suitable for different levels, but a teacher need to weave the learning as per the difficulty level she is dealing with. So uh, with this, uh, we watched what are the linkages between a storyboard, a script and a end product. So uh, I hope with the help of this example, you could understand uh, the uh, nuances of script writing and uh, the nuances of script board and how an, a, a product can emerge out of a well-crafted script and a, a storyboard. So we can uh, now see a few more examples of uh, uh, scripts. We can also see scripts of a script of a video lecture, because with the advent of this PME Vidya and the lot of uh, channels, educational channels that uh, we need to run, 12 CIT is already running. We need to have a lot of video lectures also because they uh, take less time in the, uh, uh, the as far as development process is concerned. But we need to have them for higher classes and uh, not for uh, the school children. Video lecture will not work that much for the children. We can also have video lecture for teacher education to teach them pedagogy and other uh, concept which uh, are of their interest. So let us now watch uh, a script of a video lecture. Hmm. Yeah. So a script of a video lecture should not always be presenter uh, driven, like uh, uh, presenter should not appear on screen all the time. Otherwise, it will be very, very boring. So today's three presentations were also uh, very lengthy and very elaborate. Uh, so uh, I... Uh, Try to uh, I tried to make those presentation engaging with embedding a lot of engaging content. So can be done for the video lectures also. Video lecture also. If all the time you see presenter on a screen and watch watching a video, it will be like it. It will just like replicating the classroom in a video format. So video lecture can be uh, enriched with a lot of visual content also. For that, we also have to uh, write, we have to write a script of a video lecture also in two columns, audio where the uh, lecture or bhashana will come and the relevant visuals, which we are going to have. Presenter is one visual. So presenter uh, appearance of presenter should not be more than 20 to 30% in a video lecture. It need to be enriched with other forms of visuals. So uh, here you can see the audio, the presenter starts, hello viewers. Today we will learn about the significance of theme travel in elementary EVS curriculum and the suggestive pedagogical approaches to transact the theme. So this is for teachers. This particular program is for teachers. So that is why uh, the teachers are being taught the pedagogical approaches for uh, the theme uh, travel to uh, the teachers. So here uh, the presenter appears on the screen. After that, the bullet points. Scroll down a little So here you can see the bullet points as it will, the, the bullet point will come as audio also because presenter is reading them. But on screen, the text of the bullet point will come so that uh, the viewers 
can uh, read the uh, bullet points and uh, it the, the learning gets reinforced the verbal learning which is which presenter is presenting can be reinforced with the bullet point which are coming on the screen then again comes the presentation presenter then these points on the screen the captions on the screen after that a mind map is suggested to have on the, on screen then presenter then relevant visuals whatever is written in the text so like that it goes scroll wherever sample visuals are there so sample visuals have also been put Suggestive clips of videos and audios are also given in between these scripts so that uh, teachers get to know, get to learn the concept better. So this script will be shared with the, also shared with you. <clears throat> Next, take your care folder. Hmm. Interactive e-content. We can see an interactive e-content mm -hmm. mm -hmm. classification. Second one, second from the top. So now I am showing you an example of interactive e-content. It's a screencast video <laughs> of the content the created fruit. using H. Can we put them in four baskets on the basis of their color? Let us try and put them into four groups. Drag fruits to the basket to form the four groups. Tomorrow you will learn H5P software Observe also using fruits. which you can create can we put them in four baskets content. on the basis of their color. Let us try and put them in the four groups. <clears throat> and let us now have the script and storyboard of this interactive content. Make it full screen. Bold cargo. So the uh, name of the topic is classification. And the description is fruits of different colors are displayed on the screen. Child has to classify the fruit on the basis of color or shape. So here in this particular e-content, we have taken color, classification on the basis of color. Language, it, it needs to be developed bilingually, English and also in Hindi. Subject is maths. Label is uh, class one audience different stakeholders of education they could be teachers students parents scroll through. then educational use to develop the understanding of classification on the basis of color uh, source uh, self-generated it is generated or developed by ciet so we will write ciet there so these are the images that we need to have before uh, trying our hand in the software. Uh, we at CIT developed a script, uh, a script and storyboard of the content, the H5P developer, because we ourselves cannot do everything. So we have a technical team also with us. Uh, we gave these storyboards and scripts to them. Uh, so that they can uh, develop the uh, output, which was that interactive content as per the uh, instructions given in the script and given in the storyboard. 
so uh, yeah objective is written and then we need to give instruction uh, instructions for the user in text and audio because a class one child will uh, uh, going to use this content so we don't expect a child of class one to read uh, so many instructions before playing a game otherwise it will uh, just uh, put uh, him down he may lose the interest before playing the game that is why uh, the audio uh, of instruction also come observe the fruit can we put them in four baskets on the basis of their color so that instructions come in audio also and it, it is for the purpose of accessibility also that we need to have uh, audio as well as video of uh, content text also and um, uh, audio also let us try and put them into four groups drag through to the basket uh, to form the four groups so that were the instruction for the users but the developer has to have audio of the text and also text so that it can be put into the end output that is the drag and drop content then uh, our instruction for the developer if the user drags fruit of one color in the basket then fruit of another color cannot be placed on the same basket they bounce back so that was the instruction given to the developer so that he does the coding in a manner that red color fruit will not stay in uh, a basket of green color so like that he will do the coding give positive reinforcement good good with a clapping or for proper grouping and encouragement for improper placement we should not say wrong we should say try again if a uh, uh, content is done wrongly by the user so uh, yeah this is another script so you have seen the script and storyboard of uh, an interactive content also so that uh, was all about this presentation i showed you script of uh, <coughs> animation a video lecture and an interactive content i think it uh, has made uh, clear the need and demand of a script the essentiality of a script for a uh, for for a good uh, video so uh, i tried to make it clear with the help of example and also i uh, discussed uh, theoretically also the nuances of a good script and a good program so uh, thank you very much if you have any questions you can ask questions dr monica you can see in the chat box if there are any questions if anyone has any question they may ask. So, Pinky, but chat box may you can see if there are. Ma'am, uh, they are asking to share both video and script of English version of. No, we will share. We will share. I have already mentioned that we will share. How we can put an assessment part? One is asking. <clears throat> Already, ma'am mentioned. If it goes wrong, okay. try again. We get. And is there any script writing? Interactive was interactive. Um, the script and the interactive content I uh, had shown here was assessment only self assessment for self assessment and it can also be used by a teacher in the classroom uh, and children can also play it in groups uh, but uh, with the video we can play the video and we can have a assessment sheet and a worksheet 
We can create an assessment sheet and the worksheet based on the learning we have taken our children to with the help of the video. That is how we can assess. And in some videos at the end of the video, presenter can also, uh, we can also pose as voiceovers several questions to ponder upon and to uh, take us to further learning based on the same concept. That is how we can build assessment also as part of the content. A chat, box chat box may already video and script is shared by Dr. Monica. So you will be having a separate sessions on this. There might be available uh, templates available for developing script, uh, the storyboard. WhatsApp group, maybe they are asking to share the content. So share in WhatsApp group also. Mm -hmm. If you have a tool, you can create a scene. What is the name of the name? जिससे वो पेन से स्केच होते हैं। Yes, there is a software. There is a question. Is there any script writing tool that can create scenes? Yeah, there is a software. I am not remembering the name, but when I uh, recall it, I will uh, post it in the group. <coughs> It creates scenes, but uh, but it uh, um, I I don't think that it matches the human intervention. It can create scenes, but when human intervention is there, the output is better. Rajesh from Andhra Pradesh has asked this question. Pinky, if there are no more questions, can we close yes. the session? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, will, will you ask us to prepare a video and uh, write the script and send to you within five days? Is there any such assignment? Yeah, there is one assignment. Dr. Monica, I have told you about all the assignments. So please develop... Uh, <clears throat> one script, small five minute script, not an uh, elaborate one. Uh, because bite sized videos are something that we are looking for. If you develop a script for two, three minutes also, uh, so do it for foundational literacy and numeracy. For, uh, so it will be easier for you. <clears throat> Is the one question? Can we put a video and for creating a critical thinking among the learners? Put a video end for critic for creating a critical thinking among the learners. 
yes definitely we can if we pose critical questions uh, which take us to uh, some further learning based on the video so we can put some questions there like if we have uh, developed a video based on a story we can ask them can we end the story in some other manner so that will lead students for critical thinking they will think and come up with n number of ideas to end a story differently so you can we can pause a question end this story in a different manner uh, so there is a very popular example given by us which is based on the story of the thirsty crow who was thirsty he put uh, the uh, stones in the uh, pitcher to bring the what level of water up to drink the water uh, so when it was asked to children can you end the story by some other way so they uh, said that uh, the crow uh, can also use a straw to drink the water instead of putting stones into it like that there are a lot of stories lot of videos if we put some questions uh in the similar manner so they can uh, they, 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 those questions can lead them to critical thinking uh what is abrupt, abrupt ending kisi ne likha hai <coughs> zakir shah what is the meaning abrupt ending and then question mark what are you trying to say maybe without giving conclusion Nee, what uh, uh, what, unmute meaning, the, what I I am supposed to do with this? Uh, the person here? let us learn with Zakir Shah. You may unmute and can ask clearly. Um, uh, Ma'am, this was uh, related to the first question that uh, I have already posed uh, in the in the chat in the chat. क्या समझ में आया किसी को अच्छा कहा है कैन यू कैन यू कैन यू प्लीज स्पीक अप योर क्वेरी Ma'am, he has been answered in the earlier question. Ma'am, uh, I just put that. Uh, can we put a video end for creating a critical thinking among the learners? Uh, so just uh, I'm just. Uh, adding that with an abrupt ending so that uh, it will create a critical thinking among the learners i'm just asking that okay uh, is, is that answered by what i said yes ma'am yes ma'am thank you very much okay okay <clears throat> thank you so much ma'am for giving detailed information about uh, storyboarding and developmental process for any creation and development of any audio video or 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 any product thank you so much